Hello, VW Live, and welcome to today's episode known as The Bag of Tools. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody needs a bag of tools when they're driving a vintage Volkswagen. Now, as always, you know us, we go way too far. I'm what you call a belt and suspender kind of guy. So that means we have way too many tools. Usually if you have a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, that's what most people have. But as people sometimes say, ask me how I know. So that's why we have what you see on the table right here today. So I wanna go through what we have. Yes, it's overkill, but you know what? Believe it or not, most all this except for the gauges and the timing light will fit in the bag of tools. So yes, it's a lot, but you know what? It's what we carry with us. And well, experience tells us it's smart stuff to have. Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and start with the smallest uh, set of sockets we have. And I've got some quarter inch drive. These are really nice for getting in tight spots. If you're gonna make an adjustment on your distributor, something like that, always a little, we have an adapter here too. Uh, this is interesting right here. This is a oddball size, deep thread, 11 32nd. This actually fits on the square head screws on your on your coupler, on your uh, shift rod. Notice the bags that I have here. That's how I keep everything kind of semi-organized. So I have the quarter bag, 3 8 drive, and half inch drive. 3 8 are very handy when you're breaking loose a little bit larger items. I always use a 13 millimeter. I just leave it on the uh, extension right there so it's ready to go because that's probably the most commonly used in Volkswagens. On the quarter drive, we have the 10 already hooked up. Then of course, uh, you're gonna always need, if you don't have a 17 millimeter for your transaxle, you will have, the, uh, this goes on to the 3.8 so I can add transmission to axle fluid right there with that. Then we get into the half inch drive. These are the ones we use, of course. Uh, already have this hooked up, 19. This is for our lug bolts. So if we need to change a tire real quick, we can do that. We've got 36 uh, and uh, the larger sizes for the crank pulley. Also our sizes here we have for the uh, generator pulley. So these are takes care of our sockets and of course the bags really make it easy to kind of keep it organized and things like that. That's a good thing for us. So uh, next up let's look at some of our other items here. We have some screwdrivers, a Phillips head, We've got uh, some big different size Phillips heads, really tiny ones and some uh, large one. This is good for like a you know your door uh, the uh, on your door on your split bus. We've got some straight blade. Uh, you always need these too. On the plier department just a couple of easy things, some uh, side cuts, needle nose, a little small chain locks. These are a set of reversible snap ring pliers. Yes, I know it's a little far-fetched, but one time we were rescuing a single cab and we didn't have these with us. So now, guess what? Now they're inside there because we needed these to pull off the uh, axles, believe it or not. This is our newest addition. This is kind of a neat little deal here. It's sometimes hard to get, but this actually helps you remove the uh, fuel line hose from the fuel pump and the carburetor without kind of jiggling it back and forth. You just put it in there and it just actually just pulls the hose right back. What a neat little thing. So everybody got those as Christmas presents this year. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, put a link down below for this tool uh, so you can go on Amazon and order one of these. They're made in the USA. It's a Lyle, L-I-S-L-E. They're only about 10 bucks. No, wait, they were like 30 bucks. That's why I told everybody I bought them for their Christmas presents. But no, nonetheless, these are really kind of cool little deals for you guys. Let's look at over here. I've got a set of vice grips, uh, round and needle nose. And remember, how, what's my go-to line? Ask me how I know you need a pair of these. One time, Jake and I were out uh, driving Jerry. We had a clutch uh, cable failure. And believe it or not, where it broke, it actually fell off right there and we lost the nut too. This is way before, a long time ago, we'd had a lot of spares. We didn't have our, our nut to go on the new clutch cable. So we actually had to just crunt this on and away we went. We drove it till we could find a new uh, nut to go on a clutch cable there. Uh, here are some more, another set of snap ring pliers, uh, another set of, and then of course some uh, uh, crimpers here and some wire strippers. Those are always handy too. Let's look over here. We got various sizes and uh, Allen heads, uh, uh, if you need a set of these Allen wrenches, here's just a, another big 17 for getting to that transaxle if you need that. Uh, I'm not real sure why I have a wood chisel in there, but if I ever need to do wood chiseling, I have that in there. You, this is weird. You would not think sometimes you would need a file, uh, iron file, but sometimes you might get something that might be a little, get a little worn or something like that, and then you want it to fit back in there. A file is nice to have. Look at this right here. 
I know and another stretch but if we ever cut a tire down or get something we're out where we need to plug a tire we have plugs and a tire patch repair kit just a simple thing here uh, some punches if you need to get in there and punch something out all right, here's our uh, rear axle uh, uh, knock, knockers, or what, can I say knockers? I don't know if that's okay. Anyway, that's what you do with these things. Here's your small nut and your big nut. I said knockers and small nut and big nut and all at the same time. I don't know. Sorry about that. All right. All right, guys and gals. Uh, so the next thing we, uh, we like to have, of course, is a nice set of combination wrenches in metric and we all the way up to 21 you, you sometimes you got to be careful sometimes that generator nut might be a 19 or 21 so it would be a horrible thing to be out there have a set of uh, ready to go you got a nice uh, generator belt and everything but you don't have a 21 and so you're like ah you're stranded so make sure you have a 21 or a 19 in, in your kit and I go all the way down we got a, a nice uh, little pocket knife here and a razor blade these C clamps you ever need to clamp something you just never know they're small enough that uh, they would work similar to like uh, uh, the vice grips would work and what we see is as is all this that you've seen fits into the bag of tools here and of course the bag of tools has been around a long time um, I don't know uh, this was an army surplus bag I think it might have been I've heard it was like a tank commander's uh, mechanics bag or something like that but you could probably find these uh, we'll see if we can find it and put a link to these for you guys to look down below on that but this is everything that fits in the bag of tools and I mean you can see it's it's very handy it's a little heavy but man it's, and you have everything you need right here in this in the old bag of tools so let's look at some things that we do also carry in our bus along that same line, but don't fit in our bag of tools that you might run into. First and foremost, of course, is a timing light. Uh, and I always like to carry a timing wheel too because I might run into somebody on the side of the road that I'm helping out or something like that that may not have a degree pulley or maybe you have something else. We can run this up there and at least get a pretty good eyeball, get them timed and, and ready to go along that line. But of course, before you do any kind of timing, if somebody's running points, we want to run and use our dwell meter here. And this is an old vintage dwell meter from Sears, works like a champ. But if you're running points, you gotta set your points first with your dwell, then you do your timing, because otherwise it'll throw your timing off. A Couple of other things we have here, kind of unique. Uh, if you wanna check, you have spark. Uh, you know, usually a lot of times you can just go straight up and uh, pull a plug wire and you should be able to ground it. But if, if you uh, wanna just double check and make sure, this is a simple little thing that I found here. You put your plug wire on here and of course ground this out and you'll see if you're getting spark. One of the first things you wanna do when you're having issues uh, spark plug gapper you can see there's our, our, our it's just highlighted right here just a little thing so I know Volkswagen that's easy to get to right there so I can check that here is an often overlooked piece ladies and gentlemen this is a, a fuel pressure gauge very simple you see it just has a little union here so you can just take it off uh, where your fuel pump uh, your fuel fuel pump comes up towards your carburetor and you can just plug this in line and uh, look what we have on the back we know that these uh, Solex carburetors like to run between three and three and a half so that's just a reminder to us and we can check this is probably one of the biggest issues with runnability in your air-cooled Volkswagen right there for sure is too much fuel pressure because that's usually what happens with a lot of aftermarket pumps Let's continue down the line here. A couple of other things we have. Uh, we have some wheel chalks. If we have to change a tire or something like that, I just want to be safe. Uh, hey, look, straight up, a lot of you guys sometimes, I know this, you get uh, some parking brakes that may not be working too good. You don't want to have any kind of accident, have this thing roll over you, uh, it might hurt. So get you some wheel chocks and throw in there. Uh, here's a little thing. So these we use uh, on our way back when we're traveling to a Big Bend on the interstate. You can see these little guys that they are very nice little flashers. These are available at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, they have a magnet on the back and just something to put in your back window if you're traveling at night or something like that, foggy conditions, because you know, even though we run in LED tail lights, any kind of extra lighting you can have is a good thing to have for sure. And always remember too, very much if you're on the side of the road, take one of these out, just turn it on. If you're broke down or something like that, uh, or just changing your tire or you're just resting, whatever it is, you want to use these. This is a good little thing just to keep you safe. Let's look, oops, and see uh, what you couldn't have a bag or a safety thing without duct tape. That's just another thing. Uh, this goes back to those supplies we had the, uh, in our previous episode when we talked about supplies, but a nice thing, duct tape, easy to get to. You never know when you're going to need that. Uh, you see we have here is our pump for our transaxle fluid. Uh, this is just screws onto the top of the, uh, I think it's a gallon uh, jug uh, that you want to make sure you're running. The, 
then that's a whole nother episode one of these days where we'll have a discussion on what kind of transaxle fluid to use. But uh, I, we, we always use GL4, but this is the pump. It's sealed up in here because that axle fluid is some nasty, nasty stuff. You don't want to get that all over everything. So everybody, so we got one little other thing we want to touch on here uh, as far as in our bag of tools, and it's what we call the go-to bag. You always need a go-to bag, because uh, hey, do you want to dig through all this stuff looking for something? I don't. So what I have here is a little uh, a little bag. It's like a little uh, bank pouch kind of thing, that money pouch from a bank. Look what we have here. This is your test light. You've got to have one of these in your go-to bag, easy to access because nine times out of 10, you're gonna be chasing a little electrical gremlin. You can see if you're getting power, wherever it is. Hey, I'm not getting power to the coil. Well, this is how you can verify that real easily, so whatever it may be. Uh, flat blade and a Phillips screwdriver, easy access. That's our keys right there. Look at the, 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 these are probably your most common, not probably, these are your most common size. We have an eight millimeter, that's your barrel nut on your carburetor. 10 millimeter, that's your just in your distributor. 13, that's about everything else on a Volkswagen. If you, if you get into other things, we go back into our bigger bag. Here is a, a feeler gauge. We've got our three main things here, valves, points, and spark plugs. They're already here. Look, I've got everything else closed up. Yeah, it's a nice little kit, but I've got these three because these are my go-to that I'm going to be using all the time. They're right here. Then I'm going to show you one of the other neatest little things ever. This is called a, a, a screw starter, and it is the most wonderful thing if you're trying to put in those little bitty screws on your points inside your distributor because it goes in there and it has it's spring loaded and you can just it'll hold your screw and it's yes a magnet works has a magnet on the other end a magnet works great too but this is a positive lock and holds that screw in place and you just drop it down in there turn it in your distributor and then come back in with your flat blade and tighten things up so that's a good and actually we have two of those we got a small one and a large one but these little screw starters are really nice and we'll put a link to these for you for sure and all this fits into what we call our go-to bag again Easy peasy for you guys to use that way. Those are the most common things you're gonna, yeah, do you need all this other stuff? Hey, sometimes you might, you just never know. So ladies and gentlemen, today's episode, talking about the bag of tools. We sure hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy this. And if you have any questions or anything like that, please ask us in the comments. And if you have any other additions that things we might be missing, please put it down in the comments. Because you know what? Nobody wants to be stranded because they don't have this or that. And that's what this is about. We want to help you guys with the Volkswagen community. That's what VW Life's about, helping everybody in the community. So that's what you're looking like right here. A couple of things we want to say also, thank you so much for your subscribing. Make sure you tell your friends, tell your aunts, tell your everybody out there about VW Life and the subscribe button. I noticed something the other day that uh, somebody, I was showing somebody at, at work the other day. If you subscribe, you, you are subscribed, but there's also a little bell on there. If you click on that bell, then it'll send you a notification, okay? So make sure that little bell has little things kind of like it's ringing, and that'll send you a notification every time we release a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much today from VW Life. We shall see you soon.